car in front to cause it. Oh my God, whoa, what's he doing? If I actually accelerate though, Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. Thank you so much for joining me on this video on a very exciting day. I today am going to be getting my car to its top speed here on the Autobahn and it's gonna be really exciting. So you can see we're autopiloting at the moment. Uh, I'm just letting it choose when it wants to do its lane changes. I'm trying to get a little bit of distance from the cars in front. Uh, before I do this. But yeah, I've just uh, filmed the autopilot video which went up a week ago or two weeks ago or so, and now we're gonna be doing max speed off autopilot in the Tesla. So before I do this, I'm going to make sure that my car is in sport steering mode, which it is. I'm gonna make sure it's on the very low suspension setting, with, which it is, and well, let's just give it a go, shall we? I think halfway through, I'm actually going to change it from uh, kilometers to miles because I can just click a button and it will change to miles an hour like that uh, And you can actually see when I go to miles an hour it slows it down on autopilot, which is interesting. So Okay, here we go. Let's put our foot down And see so I'm gonna start off doing it on miles an hour because obviously that's what I know best And we're gonna try and get ourselves up to 150 if we can Yeah, so it looks like 133 we might actually just be peaking at. 134. My battery is just draining like so much, it's crazy. see you on my dash yeah it doesn't look like 135 is going to come up on the dash I'm going to change it over to kilometers so we can see what that is 215 so 215 kilometers is uh, is what we're getting and I'm going to have to obviously break here as we go into this slower little bit of road and bring it all the way back down that was good fun. We'll do that. We'll do that again in a minute. I don't know if this is a. I think it says eighty. I'm not sure. I don't know if if like this bit matters. I'm not sure what this is. I guess this is some roadworks. Just gonna flow, like follow the flow of traffic. And then as we get back out of this. It's the, it's the same kind of sign that we have in the UK to show that uh, there's no speed limit. It's all like national speed limit. Okay, let's go again. Okay, we've got some people pulling out, so obviously I'm gonna have to take the speed right down. I'm surprised this is actually maxing out at 134, 135. Is the speed limit 100 down here? It says 100 on my dash. I don't think it is. Okay, we're just gonna punch it anyway. Oh wait, it is 100. No, oh, it's 100 between those times. Oh, okay, I get it. And we're going to have to brake and obviously slow down for this guy here. That might have been quite fortunate because I don't I don't know if those are speed cameras or what, but yeah, that might have been quite fortunate actually that we had to slow down there. Okay, let's pick the speed back up again. You can see that actually my battery is telling me no. My battery is saying no, you can't go any faster. So we're actually being limited right now by the top speed that we can do, which is quite interesting. 
Okay, I apologize if I just sped through there because now I've realized now the speed limit is gone. So I think I might have just sped through there a little bit too quickly. But yeah, you can see on the right of the screen that my energy is uh, definitely reducing. And it's not allowing me to, to do those speeds that I was doing earlier on. Now see, this says, it says 80, but ever, like the people behind me now are, are getting close. The car in front's going a lot faster. I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit here. Oh, it gets very tight, doesn't it? Just gonna get behind this Mercedes. I think I'll let the, let the battery maybe cool down a little bit. It maybe was a little bit panicking there, I'm not sure. We're eating through the battery though so much. We're projecting 122 kilometers. Oh no, 110 kilometers it's projecting. So now when I accelerate, this is flat out and you can see from this that it's 100% not as powerful as it was before. Like it's really, really slowed down quite a lot from what it was uh, pushing out before. I think what we might do is pull off in a minute and let like the battery cool or whatever it needs to do. But you could just see that you could just like bomb down these roads with no problem at all. Oh, so in my um, autopilot max video, this Tuareg in front of us was uh, actually what overtook us at crazy speed. So we've caught back up with him. But what I need to make sure is that I leave myself enough energy to get to the next supercharger. So I, I can't kill the car too much. some traffic here. I'm gonna put it on autopilot at max uh, speed here, just because obviously I can't get around anyone or anything just yet. But I'm intrigued to know why the battery has said that it needs to like chill out or like it can't do quite that amount of speed anymore. Because I, I thought it would be able to for a longer time, but maybe it can't, maybe it's just that short period of time that it's able to do that. picking it back up so we're at max speed now for autopilot if i actually accelerate though it, you can see there it's now aborting so yeah autopilot will accelerate for you over the speed limit a little bit and then it will just abort so yeah i've got to turn uh, turn cruise off you see the swag in front though is just tanking it in ahead of us but that's because we're being restricted obviously by this we're back on now and you can see that our battery has given us all of our power, so that's great. So we can go all the way up to 200 and we're gonna give this another whirl, all right? We're gonna try and beat our high score of 134 miles an hour and we're gonna try and get ourselves further ahead than that. We just need to get past, obviously, these cars in front of us. Oh God, this is a bouncy bit. And then really put our foot flat to the floor and see how fast we can get it. All right, let's go. So the Skoda's moving out of the way, which allows me just to put my foot down. So you see, yeah, we've got all the way up to the 200 power area and it's already started to restrict us. Wow, that was really quick at restricting us. I'm not sure what this guy is doing here on, on this. This is really confusing. That looks like a, it's a truck with a trailer on the trailer. That's really trippy. I don't know what the neural net's gonna think of that, but yeah, that's a weird one. All right, come on trailer. Out the way, please. We've got serious business to try and figure out. What does it think it is? Yeah, it says it is a it says it's a truck anyway on autopilot. Okay, flooring it. And we're gonna have to slow down again here. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that we've got loads of traffic now. 
I think because I stopped and let the battery cool down, it's now like rush hour time. Yeah, it's eight. It's eight fifteen. So I guess a lot of people are starting to use the autobahn. Take exit ten on the right onto A three to Oberhausen. Okay, so we're going to be coming off on the right in a minute. I'm going to go down there though and see if that actually is any good, like for for these kind of roads coming forward. So let's autopilot our way across the road. And I'm actually gonna change it back to kilometers because I'm getting a little bit confused by all the conversions. Yeah, kilometers. Boom, all right, 101, there we go. And you can see that I've actually, yeah, my battery's been draining so quickly, it's crazy. So I've, I've got to cool it down anyway for a little bit until we get until we can get to our next supercharger. So I don't know if when we follow this road off here, it's going to continue into an unrestricted autobahn, or if it's going to continue into these kind of roads. So let's find out. In 300 meters, take exit 10 on the right onto A3 toward Oberhausen, Hanover. Okay. So we're taking the right here, and then the car should do this all on its own, which it has done, and it has done actually really well. Now take exit 10 on the right. Wow, that car in front caused it. Oh my God, whoa, what's he doing? What is that car in front doing right there? I have no idea. No, traffic. Oh man, okay, well, I guess that's the end of our Autobahn trip for this one uh, little trip to Germany. It's a little bit upsetting that we've now got so much traffic and everything. I'm gonna try an auto lane change, but it's uh, it's refusing, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. And then I guess we just have to go into this lane at some point. Like, will the car do this itself, or am I gonna have to do this? I think I'm gonna have to do this lane change. So I'm gonna to plan to do it now. There we go, that worked pretty well actually. That was quite smooth. That was quite smooth. I just wanna see if this is gonna clear. Actually, I'm gonna have a look at my maps. Oh no, I don't know if you can see that on my maps. Uh, actually, the traffic's just gone from it. Uh, but yeah, it's it was the like blacky red color, which basically means there's a lot of traffic coming up. So yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of our Autobahn trip. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the high speeds and just some little like crazy bits of fun and whatnot. The Tesla was good. It just didn't get quite as fast as I was expecting. I thought it was gonna go faster, but I guess that's because this isn't the performance and this is a smaller battery. So yeah, that makes all the difference. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, don't forget, drive safe.